618 right now as Ron joins us with the latest on the forecast, which yeah. includes fog this morning, but hopefully dissipating as the morning goes on. Yeah, that's going to be the big headline, at least this morning. We will have more rain heading our way on Wednesday. Today it looks like the rest of the day should be dry. We're just starting off with this dense fog. It's mainly right along I-80 is where we're looking at for that. We'll head outside. We'll start you off there just with a quick look at temperatures. 65 and once again, the airport is showing mostly cloudy. I think that though is likely the fog that's starting to develop at the airport. We'll show you those visibilities coming up. It's currently 65 in Pittsburgh. Butler 63 containing at 60 degrees. So we're starting to see those temperatures more mid to low 60s as we're beginning the day. Here's those visibilities we we're talking about including three quarters of a mile in Pittsburgh, Newcastle as well, wheeling at a quarter of a mile. And as we're heading over, we have seen some lower visibilities in places like Johnstown, even though they're looking at perfect visibilities at this point. So yes, visibilities are starting to go down, but we also you can see the shaded in areas. That's where we're seeing fog develop. So you're looking at places north of I 80 just off to the west where we're seeing most of the thickest of the fog. We're starting to see some pockets over into Washington County, also into Beaver County. And just a note, Beaver County is going to be one of those communities under the dense fog advisory. So Butler, Beaver, Lawrence County, Mercer County, Venango County, those are all communities that are under that dense fog advisory officially until 10 o'clock. But even if you aren't under that advisory, if you're into Washington County, you still have some pretty thick fog this morning. So just know you want to want to take your time getting into work or to school and maybe also just uh, beware that those driving conditions can change very quickly with the patchy fog that we continue to see. We are going to be looking at a warm front sliding through as we're waking up tomorrow. That'll bring us a chance for some rain and then behind that a cold front will bring us another chance for rain. So a couple of rounds of rain possible on Wednesday. So we'll watch certainly closely for that. And this today though 75 should be dry start to finish. We're looking at some high clouds sneaking in from the north, but at times we'll see some sunshine today as well. By tomorrow though, this is six o'clock in the morning. Rain showers are Arriving, maybe even a couple of weak thunderstorms and then more in the way of storms possible as we're heading into the afternoon along a cold front and that has I have it here between four to seven o'clock in the afternoon. So a high today of 75 will drop temperatures just a little bit with the rain around on Wednesday to 72 and a Thursday high of 69 degrees. Friday back at 71 with a solid chance for some scattered showers and then Saturday is looking dry start to finish with a high of 77.